Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Happy Wednesday. Uh, today I am doing a piece, I'm just testing colors. I'm gonna do a chaos ribbon swipe, um, but I wanna see how these colors are gonna translate because I want to make some clocks and I wanna make some tiles, uh, some resin tiles. I wanna do those for my Christmas show. So I've got some colors in mind. I wanna go into this, some green themes. So I'm just gonna see how this works out. So let's get down and get started, all right? I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do one of my chaos ribbon swipes and I'm using a blue and green color palette. So today I'm going to use phthalo blue from Amsterdam. I got phthalo green Amsterdam mixed with a little bit of Viridian green from Creative Inspirations. I got a little bit of 24 karat gold. I'm gonna try this color out in this. I'm not sure how well it's gonna work. This is my pearl yellow from Amsterdam. And of course I got some titanium white. So what I'll do, like I do with all the other ones I've done in the past, lay out a pillow paint of white, and then I'm gonna chaos ribbon those colors on there. And then I'm gonna swipe with my Australian Floatrol and Oxide Black Cell Activator do a little some swipe action, random swipes around. Then I might wreck in between things. I might use my palette knife and pick up and drag a little bit, and then I'll tilt out. My paints are mixed with uh, Floetrol Gloss Medium, and the green has a little bit of water because it was super thick. All right, so my first color I'm gonna put down <clears throat> is gonna be my phthalo green. And I'll come back in and do multiple layers of these. I'm gonna put in my phthalo blue. in a little bit of white. Get a bit of gold. put in some of my pearl yellow. These pearl colors tend to show up a little better on darker uh, surfaces, uh, like backgrounds, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to play out in it. put white again. I'm gonna go real light on the gold because I really don't want the gold to be so much of a focal point. Put more yellow in this time. This is the pearl yellow.
I'm going to top it off with some more green. Smattering more blue. So I've made up a fresh bracket cell activator. Normally I mix this about three to one, three parts Australian Floetrol to one part paint. I would say this one is probably about one and a half parts paint. I wanted to thicken up my cell activator just a little bit and see if that makes a difference. I was noticing sometimes that my cell activator looked a little thin. It was uh, running away from the edge of my uh, palette knife. That tends to mean that it's a, on the thinner side. So we'll see how this plays out this time. I like to put my cell activator through a cup like this. That way when it runs off, I can grab it and reuse it. Now this actually looks like it might be a little thick. We'll see. All right, so we'll start right here on my edge. Press lightly and just come on through. Really cool guys, really, really cool. Okay, so let's do that again. So it turns out that this cell activator is good. So I'm gonna press right here, this edge. Just do the same kind of wave through here. I try to keep the center tight because usually what I do is kind of give it a little bit of a wreck. I don't know that I'm going to wreck. Maybe I'll take a little bit of my palette knife and kind of pick up and move through that. This is really selling up, giving me some great cells, some great lacing. I'll lose this end over here, which is fine because it's a little drab, it's a little dulled out. When you start moving your cell activator from one side of a painting all the way to the other, you start to fade out and lose it a little bit, but that's fine. This over here is going to take a little longer to sell up because it's most thickest here where I started. So that will probably be the first end that goes away that way I can stretch it out and it won't be so much black on the canvas.
that's all I'm going to do with that. Just let it open up and see what happens. This way first. Love the color palette. I love the craziness of it. Just fantastic. So I'm gonna torch this off and then I'll show you guys when I bring you in. All right, here we are with the wet results. So I think using the pearl yellow was kind of a no-go. I don't think it's gonna show up in this unless any of these little white areas you see in there is gonna turn out. But since I used white with it, probably is not gonna show up. But I'm still loving the result that I got out of this because it's got like a wave feel how I did my swipes. Let me bring you in here. All right, we'll see this one is dry. I'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are with the dried result. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's piece. So 
Uh, composition wise, it's a little wavy, which I'm okay with that. Um, but what's more important is I wanted to try out these colors, the blues and the greens and the golds. I think that's gonna make a really cool color pattern for some of my uh, resin tiles that I'm doing. Um, I'm using some big 12 by 12 tiles. I got these from Home Depot. So I'm gonna be using these along with my, um, my hexagon uh, tiles and my four by four tiles that I sell at my Christmas show. So I'm gonna be doing uh, these big tiles too. I think those are gonna be a good hit. So, and I'm also uh, venturing into clocks. So that's gonna be a great seller as well, I think. So very excited about it. And my store, the Christmas store is gonna be opening up on November 2nd. It's gonna be going for two months, all the way through December 25th. So I'm really excited about that. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. I will see everybody on Sunday. Have a great week. Bye-bye.